A Reuters exclusive, Japan's mobile carrier SoftBank may buy a majority stake in Sprint Nextel. Reuters reports that the two telecom companies are in talks for a deal that could top $12 billion. Joining me from Tokyo is Reuters Bureau Chief Kevin Krolicki. Well, Kevin, Sprint is seen as a heavily indebted also ran here in the United States. Why would SoftBank be attracted to Sprint? I think this is a this is a big bet by SoftBank's founder. If in fact uh, this deal moves ahead, uh, to take his company outside Japan. Um, if you look at SoftBank and you look at Masayoshi uh, Son, uh, he has a history of, of taking big bets. Uh, some of them don't always uh, pay off. Uh, you know, reports put his losses. Uh, you know, in 2000 in the dot com crash and tens of billions of dollars. But but he's built this company into a telecom player, and if uh, this deal goes ahead, he has his sights on moving outside Japan. Are there any things that are complementary between these two companies, whether it's technologies or uh, networks? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the benefits to Sprint are, are less uh, clear in, in, in the eyes of the analysts we've, we've talked to here. I mean, the problem uh, in, in telecom isn't... Uh, isn't isn't capital it's it's really scale and uh it's not clear how softbank's investment solves that problem uh for sprint in the US market although uh perhaps there are synergies as they kind of move through their their network transitions to higher speed networks uh, that's one theme we hear well that's the thing about sprint you know sprint as you know Kevin has been highly dependent on sales of apple's hot iphones and paying high subsidies for it so what would this deal with uh softbank do for sprint SoftBank uh, was really uh, sort of kicked into high gear here uh, when it uh, became the exclusive uh, vendor for the the, the initial iPhone. Um, so th they have uh, they have that shared history in, in common. Uh, analysts are really kind of puzzling puzzling through that, and uh, the synergies are, uh, as I said, uh, less clear. All right. Now, what would uh, you know? Sprint's uh, uh, enormous debt would that be a stumbling block to a deal? Not necessarily. Uh, one of the things we've heard is that uh, SoftBank is already in talks with a number of banks, uh, including Mizuho here, its main bank, about uh, financing this deal. Uh, in general, uh, Japanese banks are, are willing to lend. Uh, you know, we have the big banks with strong balance sheets and facing low, uh, very sluggish demand for corporate loans. So that might not be the stumbling block, it would appear. Hey, Kevin, any, any sense as to what stage they are in these talks? Are we close to a final deal? It seems very early. Um, uh, a number of bankers weren't even aware. Uh, it caught many unawares. So uh, it seems that this is uh, very early in, in the process. Uh, having said that, it, it's also hard to say how quickly things move from here. And how are analysts uh, reacting to this news so far? Yeah, I mean, uh, for analysts, it's all a matter of kind of working through uh, what this means per share, what the mooted price uh, being discussed means, and uh, th there's a lot of uncertainty uh, around that. Um, uh, questions about whether the uh, the numbers that are being thrown out there are, are uh, inclusive of debt or, or not, and of course that makes a huge difference. But in general, uh, this is viewed positively, positively for the sector. Um, it's uh, a big, iconic deal in a, in a wave of, of cross-border Japanese M&A that we've seen uh, building for the last two years because of the stronger yen. As you say, potentially an iconic deal. But what about regulators? Do uh, you think that might be a, a roadblock? Well, it would have to be. Uh, it would have to be scrutinized, of course. Uh, but there is a history of cross-border uh, holdings in the U.S. Uh, telecom industry. You've got Deutsche Telekom uh, in its position there. So, uh, although that would be uh, scrutinized, analysts don't see that as a re as a real hurdle. Right. Uh, you mentioned uh, Deutsche Telekom. They owned uh, T-Mobile USA here in the U.S. Well, Metro PCS and T-Mobile had earlier agreed to merge, and Sprint was even considering a counteroffer for Metro. And by the way, Metro PCS shares down 3% in the pre-market right now. What would these Sprint SoftBanks uh, talks do in terms of consolidation for the U.S. telecom industry? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's really the, that's really the big question, and I think it's it's still unanswered. One point that analysts have raised, uh, and investors that we've spoken to have raised, is that uh, one of the um, uh, assets here for SoftBank, uh, one of the reasons it might be looking at this deal is uh, Sprint Nextel's holding in Clearwire and uh, the, spec the spectrum that represents. But what you know, what this does to consolidation and, and what it does uh, ultimately for pricing power is less clear. All right. Well, thanks a lot for joining us with your thoughts and analysis. Appreciate it, Kevin. Our thanks to Reuters Tokyo Bureau Chief Kevin Krolicki. I'm Fred Katayama, and this is Reuters.